The entirety of Alcatraz has been added in Black Ops 4 and in this video we are going to be taking a full map walkthrough as well as showing gameplay of this incredible addition to Black Ops 4. This is literally a Black Ops 2 remaster of the original Mob of the Dead combined with the Black Ops 4's Blood of the Dead and then everything you'd see outside the map but is fully playable and explorable and we'll be showing you it in this video. But I'd love to know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this so far? Have you explored it? What have you found? What are your thoughts on this is actually quite incredible. Now before we jump into the actual map tour itself I just want to show you some gameplay of me getting the blunder gap because you can get it in this map and all you have to do is kill a bunch of zombies that have spawned and when the mystery box is available to open the blunder gap will be in there. Unfortunately it's not that powerful against players but it's still a very cool thing to find and there are more easter eggs in this map so when they are found I'll be uploading them so make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on but let's jump into the tour welcome my friends to Alcatraz this is the brand new Alcatraz map in blackout which is an entire mob of the dead slash blood of the dead remaster but it's the entire Alcatraz island like you can literally go into the water outside the map and we do have even just little details of fuel just chilling there and you know what that's a reference to right I don't even need to explain it. That is super, super cool. But welcome, my friends, to the docks. This is the uh, sort of area that you couldn't play in on the original Mob of the Dead and Blood of the Dead as it gets cut off right here. But you can just go ahead and fully explore it. And as you can see, we have the dock sign right there. Plenty of little rooms with tons of little things going on inside here. Here's one of the many different weapon wall buys which you can find around the map. And we're just going to go ahead and showcase everything within this tour that we can possibly look at. Unfortunately, we can't play this in a custom game. So theater mode is what we're going to have to use here. But here's the recognizable docks. You guys obviously recognize this straight off the bat. No troll perk, unfortunately, on this, this bridge section. So no PhD flop or anything like that. But you guys should obviously recognize this dock section. It is pretty much one to one exactly how it is. We've... Uh, use our shield blast it's going to move that crane right there to go and retrieve the golden spork which if we go underwater we can see some fish swimming around if i unpause the game but besides that i don't think there's anything lying around like that but there's definitely some more easter eggs on this map which i'll be bringing videos on so make sure you hit that subscribe button but here's the sniper tower trap from mob of the dead which you can fully climb up and explore on which in in my opinion is just it's just absolutely crazy this is even a thing coming along through here we've got the obvious section here with the dog head from the original map obviously that's a, a nice little marking to remember where it was here we have the second powerhouse which is identical to the original we have this section which is cut open now where we'd have the power switch and pack a punch but here we just got a crate box and then just a, a little bit of copy and paste of the same sort of stuff down here now we can actually go upstairs in the dock section and there's tons of these houses that all house their own separate loot it's actually pretty mind-blowing how big this is and it's so accurate to the actual alcatraz in real life it's mental so there would be a zombies debris right here or spawn window that's gone now and you can make your way up the bridge here we have the gondola which you can actually ride which is mental and then here we would have a perk machine and a wall by or, or a zombie window even and then down here we have the very infamous tunnels but no citadel tunnels we don't have citadel tunnels in here i don't know why just locked off so i guess that's going to remain a little bit of a mystery but if you make your way over here this is the sally port and this is what you'll see in the original alcatraz so if you visited it in real life you'd come up through here and normally this is gated off from the zombies portion but here it is fully recreated and when i was last here there was like a vehicle that was lying around against this wall right here it's just so cool and this will officially lead us into the officers club on this section so this is the electric shop very very cool in theater mode unfortunately if there aren't any smashed windows i can't fly into the buildings but it doesn't look like there's anything too much there here's the old school vehicles i was talking to you about so they got it very very accurate and of course that's someone parachuting in so there's the officers club right here and just tons and tons of detail it's really really incredible that they've actually managed to do this and it just looks to me a lot more mob of the dead-esque than it does um Blood of the Dead S, just in terms of the lighting. There's dartboards on there for officers to play. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a snooker table. Did I see that right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a snooker table there. That's pretty wild. And again, like, 
everything is no nothing's off limits in this map literally you can go absolutely everywhere making yourself up through here we have what i believe is the powerhouse which we're looking at very shortly yeah the powerhouse so look at that we have the quartermaster room there we have official timings on when you can visit it and exactly like in blood and mob Toilet tissue matches, soap cleanser files will be issued on Tuesdays and Saturdays during bath lines. Okay, really, really cool. And this is the powerhouse section. So we won't recognize this in either mob or blood because we couldn't play in this section before. But if we make our way upstairs here, uh, you, you just got a lot more sort of power uh, room looking areas, which is really, really sweet. And uh, making our way through here, uh, not too much to see. Finally, upstairs. You're going to find just lots of stuff lying around. There is so much detail absolutely everywhere. This goes up for several floors. We're still going. We've got a little hazmat suit there. Pretty cool. Just uh, It's just mind-blowing how this is even in the game. It's so cool. And you can bet if they were to remaster Mob of the Dead and bring it in as its own map, they could just take the assets that they already have here because it's pretty much all created and then some which is crazy. Uh, going down in here, the powerhouse, you guys are going to recognize this. So this was off limits and just sort of not really something we saw in Blood of the Dead. But here, you should be right at home with this section right here, guys. Perk machine right there. Zombie wall, uh, zombie just build barricade there. We have the little tunnel, which if you come along down here, we would have the fast travel with the buildable bench and then all the crazy stuff, which we'll get into in a moment. But here is a classic powerhouse. The Pack-A-Punch machine would be there. A power switch handle would be there. Oh man, it's just one-to-one -one exactly as we remember it. So if we make our way up, we're going to go take a visit at the secret lab, boys. The secret lab. This is Model Industries. You guys know the drill. Spawn room from Blood of the Dead. It is awesome. So Richtofen's lab is Pretty much the same, of course. We don't have any test subjects frozen, which is a bit of a shame. Just see, I don't think these textures are going to load in, but we have everything that you'd normally expect. We do have the elevator here, which has blood smeared saying wrong way. I don't think that's anything new, but it's still a really cool little Easter egg. And everything's pretty much the same. The, the whiteboards have been, or the chalkboards have been wiped, unfortunately. Nothing really else to see in here, but it's cool that the lab is there. Obviously, this is where you take yourself to go to the secret uh, or sort of the boss fight area. But it's looking a little bit different. So this is the second floor up here, which we uh, did not come in from originally. This is just another section. So very similar to the uh, original top of the spawn room. Making way up here. We just got... I've just got staircases for days. So many different rooms. It's wild how big this map is. Considering Alcatraz is, you know, it's a 40 player battle royale. It's not huge, uh, but you do get um, five respawns because this map's so hectic and crazy. And you'd expect to not bump into too many people, but you'd be very, very surprised. So that's a look at the powerhouse and the model industry. So we can take uh, a look through this little window here. It's just mad how much detail there is. And the typewriters, if you're looking to get Takio, then you can go ahead and use those, which is really cool. And this is something I've not noticed before. A little cheeky powerhouse uh, final top room. If you run all the way through the, through the staircases and boom, we're now here into territory, which is completely different to the original. So you'd make your way up and we have the power down there, I believe, or no? It'd be straight up here. Yeah, so you'd have to run all the way up here and then along to get down to the original power. I see this bit was locked off uh, and this wasn't a thing before. Oh, okay, yeah, it was. Of course it was. I'm such an idiot. So this is a really reminiscent place. And look, there you go. Everything's looking very, very similar to uh, this section here where we'd have a dog head towards the back of the room. You can have zombies spawning in here with a mystery box location right there. Obviously, it's going to open and give you some goodies, and the Blundergat is in this. All you've got to do is just open the mystery box. Once you've killed a bunch of zombies, and you'll have the Blundergat nice and easy. This is a new section, which we didn't see in the original Blood of the Dead. It just goes to show you how big Alcatraz really is, because the zombies map's quite big on its own, but this just goes to show you the true depth of just how much there is. So we're coming along here, and we're getting towards the sort of like... 
uh, outskirts of the Alcatraz map before we really dive into the absolutely awesome stuff that you guys want to see. Uh, so along here, it's just a huge amount of island space, just an insane amount of island space. And again, this is all real. Like, this is what really is an Alcatraz. You've got this one sole little house here, uh, and you'll see this is quite a common theme. And this section of the map is ruins. So you can find some wall buys, particularly one right there. Ruins. There's not too much inside of the ruin section, but it's still super cool that this is all here. This is stuff that you'd see outside the map in zombies, which is just here. Fully modeled, working, textured. It's just nuts, right? It is insane. This section here is called the Parade Rounds, and you can find mystery boxes spawning in here. It's just wild. It's just a bunch of tents. There you go, mystery box location right there. It's just a bunch of tents where you can find lots of loot, sort of very uh, modern looking buildings, which I think would house like uh, kitchens and fridges for people working out here. It is pretty mental, all this section, and this sort of puts us back towards the warden's house section which is super super cool again there's lots of stuff that shut i wonder if we could open this stuff i wonder but this is going to lead on to the warden's house section uh just above here and the lighthouse which we'll look at in a moment so this is the parade round sort of main houses as you can see we have cottage a uh cottage b right there Cottage C, hello? Doesn't want to spawn in apparently. There we go, Cottage D. And this is all surrounding the guest house. And these buildings are huge. There's just so many different rooms and there's just so much loot. It's, it's wild how detailed this is. But here we move on to the granddaddy of everything, all right? You're going to look at this house and you're going to know exactly what sort of house it is. That's right. It's the warden's house. And it is one-to-one -one identical to what you see in Blood of the Dead, but it's far more open than, than that. Basically where we find the Warden's Lab, that is now just a huge room with just tons of loot for you to grab. And what's crazy, you can just land on the Warden's House roof if you really wanted to do that. And opposite the Warden's House, you have this sort of like church looking building, which you can just fly right in here on theater mode. And it's like three stories, which is pretty pretty nuts uh you can make your way up and it's a really good vantage point to just look out to anyone in that warden's house just looting and uh just getting the edge on people from all the other sort of different angles you've got now the house opposite the warden's house is also really really big and this is just an example of just how intricate the detailing is everywhere in this building there's a ladder which you can take up which i think will take you all the way to the lighthouse i'm pretty sure yeah and this is a ridiculously crazy vantage point to have but you know what we're not even done there's still another ladder you can ride up and there you go you'll be on top of the lighthouse which is like the highest point on the map pretty much which is absolutely crazy to see but here's where we really want to get into which is the cell house how much is it the same from blow both mob of the dead and blood of the dead so if we make our way in through here, this is the warden's office and it looks absolutely identical to its original counterpart right here. It's nuts, but um, crazy stuff going on. So original mystery box would be right there for the warden's office. This bit is just completely open. This obviously does not house a table with a part for us for the acid gat, at least not there anyway. And whoa. So I remember all the theories that this would lead you to some crazy like uh, escalator or like Richtofen's lab before blood came out. But no, this leads you, I believe, to the same uh, direction that you'd use when you travel through um, the purgatory mode in the original mobs. You come all the way down, you'd zap this and it would power on the map and give you the key, which is really, really cool. But you should feel right at home here. Everything is pretty much identical to how we remember it inside of both Blood and Mob, but it's just a lot more open. So this is the original Mob of the Dead spawn right here, and it looks pretty much exactly the same. You'd open out here, and it would be a little more confined. Here it's a lot more open, a lot more like the actual real Alcatraz. Uh, let's see what sort of prison cells are open here. There aren't any that we can actually open, but as you can see, absolutely identical to the original Mob of the Dead. Just crazy. This staircase, obviously, we didn't have it originally, and this is like a nice way for you to go inside some of the cells and also just take off people that are below you. 
you've got this window when you look out you just got such a beautiful view it's just so crazy that this is even in the game is mental uh, make your way out through here which we could also do in both mob and blood and you get another look right here where recreation yard would take you all the way across that crazy crazy bridge which is just not here in this version just goes to show you how much real land is there in the real alcatraz and what treyarch done to connect all the dots together we've got like i guess this is hopscotch on the on the ground right there pretty crazy uh it's just such a huge little playable space it's almost like a mini football field here you have a wall by there and if you go through this little area here it takes you back towards looking at the uh powerhouse and model industries and it's just this neat little section up here where you've got one little shack and you've just got this area which you can all use and then go through the crack right here and you can enter the main cell block through this section so let's keep looking wow look look, look at the detail just the fact you can just hop in windows and suddenly you're lost so we've got several uh washing machines there and here we have the showers now we only have one hanging body in the showers which is very weird to see and we still got all that classic writing on the walls sprawled in blood this just looks so cool and we've got a lovely regulation about clothing and what looks to be like trees growing through that at first i thought it was like acid gat like acid but i guess it's just yeah it's just trees growing and this is also very realistic in size to the real Alcatraz showers. And also, there you go. When you're leaving this area, you've got to follow, got to follow the code of conduct, conduct boys. So we've got another regulation um, message there. As we come along, like it's just crazy how open this is. This would be like out of bounds territory on the original Mob of the Dead map. Like you wouldn't be able to see hardly any of this detail. It's just so wild that this is just all here. So if you come along, one of these sections is going to house a mystery box, which is right there. Obviously, we're, we're getting near the roof. So why don't we go and see what's happening on the roof of this map? So you follow it through just like you would in both Mob and Blood, sort of. This has been changed a little bit. If you make your... Okay, we're not even in the right section. I was wondering, hang on, this looks a bit different. This don't look right. So you can get on the roof the exact same way. So here we go. There we go, lads. It looks a bit familiar now. And you make your way through here. And we can also take a look at the cafeteria, which we will do actually right now. All exactly the same as it is in the original uh, Blood and also more realistic into the real life version as well. Very bland. You've got the menu there on what they served on the 1st of January 1932. And I believe that is actually very realistic to what they actually had uh, from me visiting there. They had a very similar menu up there uh, we've got this little section here which you know just a neat little addition that weren't there before acid trap nowhere to be seen but let's jump into the infirmary now because this is what we want to see so blood of the dead secret room hello it is now open and i'm pretty sure everything we see in here is what is actually in the real secret room so you have um some candles lit up there we've got some some tea or some mug stains we've got this operating bench uh another set of candles which aren't lit uh, and that's the only real room that's open besides this one which has a bunch of electrical equipment uh making your way through here we have the bathtub which is filled with blood so very interesting note there and make your way through we still have the same operating table and these candles are also lit as well so making your way through we have no acid gap part there unfortunately this is now completely open for you to just i guess loot away which is really really cool perk machines replaced by a table and i mean you can go out onto this bit if you wanted to but the roof is where everything goes down in this map and this roof is gigantic so it's pretty much same scale as the normal roof from mob and blood but then it's just suddenly opened up to ridiculous size and what is my boy calling in there that is really strange. Is this what happens at the start of games? What the hell is going on there? Never seen that before. But you can jump from one rooftop onto another, which is wild. And I think this is everyone. Yeah, this is everyone spawning in. So you can see what they look like on the roof. This goes to show you how popular the rooftop is. And you'll see I've got gameplay as well. Just how ridiculous uh, the rooftops are. It's a central spawn point for everything to just come in and just go crazy. These rooms normally house like a little crate or something for you to find some cool loot. But that's really going to wrap up most of our 
Blood of the Dead, Mob of the Dead slash Alcatraz Blackout tour of this video. There are some Easter eggs to be found and we've got the Blundergat, which you get just by simply killing zombies uh, until the mystery box opens, you can get the Blundergat. Everything there is pretty self-explanatory, but the rest, hmm... There's still a few things that we are still a little bit unsure of, but as we learn more, and of course we dive into more of the Easter eggs inside of this Alcatraz map, I'll be sure to bring it to you guys. But if you enjoyed this walkthrough, this little look at every single part of this map, let me know down below in the comment section. Feel free to drop a like rating on this video if you did enjoy it. Many, many thank yous to all you guys for watching all the way through to the end. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you think of Alcatraz in Blackout, and I'll catch you for another video very, very soon.